Welcome, Replay viewers, and everyone joining now live. Um, this is Danica McKellar, and I'll turn the camera around. Go landscape. So as promised, and some of you are watching me get my makeup and hair done with Hilda right there. Now, uh, I'm here, and we're ready to shoot. So this is where I'm going to be standing. This is the backdrop. It's just black. And this is for um, a series of short clips for the series Nova's the Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers. So they've, uh, they've done this with people like Maya Bialik and Bill Nye the Science Guy. So I'm joining them and going to tell my story. Here's some of the crew and producers. Say hi. You guys can talk and say hi. Hey. Hi. hey. Uh, some of these people have never done Periscope before, which is not surprising. It's still relatively new. Thank you, for uh, Esther and Rick, for sharing on Twitter. So... Um, how soon are we, uh, how close are we to actually shooting? We're going to start, I think, about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes? Cool. So you guys want to hang for five minutes? So you guys keep doing your thing. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, Don't yeah, do no, worry. Yeah, I just, yeah. just <laughs> everyone's staring at okay. me like, what do I do? This like, is no, I'm just going to deer in the headlights. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, everybody go back to what you're doing. So now I'm getting some last minute touch ups. Do you want me to stand there? Actually, just pull the muscle. It's so cute. Everyone's just staring, going, am I supposed to say, should I be quiet, right? It's a black background, so they told me to not wear black so that I wouldn't blend into the background, so I'm not, I'm wearing blue. And I thought, oh, okay, so I, uh, what shoes should I wear, right? I always try to wear cute shoes, and they said, oh, don't worry, you're only going to be seen from your fingertips up. So guess what I'm wearing? Nice, comfy boots. Yes, because who wants to wear heels if they're not even going to be seen? Yeah, not me. <clears throat> and now I'm, someone, uh, one of the producers is taking a picture of me in par Periscope. And <laughs> Josh, right? Yeah. yeah. And I'll be talking into this camera. I'll be looking right down the lens of this camera. Uh, it is actually a teleprompter. That is the other producer, Tom, and he's going to be asking me questions so that I can actually look at him. This is good. I, I'll be looking at him like we're having a real conversation, only the camera is catching me looking directly into... Uh, the lens so that people will feel I'm looking at them when they're watching it. People are saying that the connection is bad. It's probably because I'm using their Wi-Fi instead of the network. So I will actually, I'll jump off and I'll go back to the network and say hi again. Hi, Reagan. All right, everyone. I'll see you in a second. Wait. Oh, no. I'm going to do this wrong again. Wait, now it's working? Oh, now people are saying it's working. Okay, so I should not stop it. So this is me not being able to stop my periscopes, which happens periodically, it was actually to our benefit now. Oh, now it's working. See? I just had to threaten to end it, and suddenly the network went, well, no, 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 don't get off of us. I mean, the Wi-Fi. It's working. It's better. Everyone's saying it's better. Okay, so let me just, if you guys couldn't hear me before, here I am. We are about to shoot some segments for the PBS show, Nova's The Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers. Just don't move. And I'll be speaking into the camera, looking at one of the producers, Tom, who's through there. Sometimes teleprompters, mostly teleprompters are used to tell you what to say. So it'll be scrolling dialogue and then you say what's there, but it looks like you're looking into the camera. Thank you. I love Nim... Why do you guys make this so hard? I love Nim... Thank you for sharing. It didn't work out very well. And these are called C-stands. Thank you, Saturn Man, for sharing. These are called C-stands. C-stands for century, meaning they can hold a hundred different things. That's I what I've been told. That. You didn't know that? That's amazing. I've Did been in this anybody industry else heard that? for 12 years. And can I anyone else verify that. that? That's what I was told That's a long time so ago. Cool. C-stand. Hawaiian Man, thank you for sharing. There's the microphone up there. That's what I always heard. So no, no one will ever see. You've heard that too? Okay, good. Well, a hundred different uses. A hundred different uses, yes. So here's the whole stage. It's, everything is just to capture like this one little square of information. Nothing else has to look polished. We've got this over here, this over here. There's a light back here. This makes it diffuse. This, um, the white material lets the light through, but not too much. This is called negative fill, right? So this keeps the light from coming in. For some reason, that makes it look better. I don't know, in certain circumstances. And the sound in this room might not be great because there's so many... There's a lot of space, um, but these screens will probably help the sound too. And then the microphone's right above me. And oh look, what, everyone's seen this before. People love right, this. Flip it, up. flip it the right way for the audience. It's a tail slate, though, Mark. Yeah. 
Actually, all right, now we're going to do one for camera. So go back in there, Bill. So this is behind. This is what it looks like when you're behind. Yeah. This is what it looks like when you're the actress standing there. Thank you, Moonwalker, for sharing. <laughs> Any minute now. Any minute now, he'll, he'll click. There it is. And that syncs up. That's, that synchronizes the, the, uh, the sound with the video. So that when they're editing, they can line them up and go, okay, this is where it lines up. I'm not sure if it's necessary anymore for that, but that's what they do. Thank you, Animal Lover, Almost Pastor yeah. Nate, and the Defender AA for sharing and inviting followers. So they're just making some last minute adjustments before we actually shoot. Thank you, P. Jonas, for inviting followers. See, so they have two cameras going, actually. They've got the main camera that I'll be talking into, and then they'll be able to cut back and forth with this other roving camera that's going back and forth on this slider. So when it cuts to, when it cuts to a shot where I'm not looking at the camera, that's the camera that was the, the footage that they used. Now they're moving it. I'm not sure what they're doing now. Yeah, so a lot of um, shooting stuff is you come to set and then they are making all these adjustments to make things look better or sound better. Or for some reason, they've moved the sliding camera over here. I'm not sure if that means they're not going to use it or they're going to do an extreme side angle shot. It's the side angle shot. Okay, thank you. Thank I'm you, Jaren, CNC. By the way. Hi, Jaren. Hi. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Um, so we'll just kind of get the lighting right. So if you want to just look straight into the sure. prompter for a sec. I'm being told to look straight into the prompter. Thank you. I won't block my light. I'll just hold this down. And are we all the way up on our kickers? Not, not the side kicker. I got two um, That's lighting talk. Thank you, Pavlos, for inviting five followers. Can we pan off the, that guy just a little bit? Probably to the right. See, you actually can see the guy making adjustments. That's good. Up there. In the angle right. shot. Is that cool? Um, I think we're pretty well set. As soon as they're ready, I'll go off to turn this off. But um, thank you, Geeks and Goddesses, for yeah, inviting us. Uh, boom, I've got a little bit. Boom, that's this. Of you the boom mic. The shot, which means they can see the boom mic and they're going to move it up. If you watch, see? The guy right now is going to move it up, getting it out of the shot. Thank you for doing that. And there's, so this side angle shot is going to be very cool and behind the stage, -y, behind, behind the scenes, because he's actually moving one of the C-stands in front of it, so it looks like somebody who's, who's just a, a voyeur, somebody who's peering in, you probably shouldn't be there. <laughs> it's a cool effect. I've never really liked my profile very much, so that's it's a little disappointing that they're doing that. But, you know, you shoot these things, you just have to trust that they're going to be okay. Sometimes people do confuse me with Danica Patrick, and I'm always like, look, I was the first Danica, okay? I was here first, but I'm glad you think I can drive like that. I, I cannot. Yes, Nova's The Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers, and the next season of it starts in January. This episode, they're not sure exactly when it's going to air. There will be multiple segments, and they'll put them out on the website periodically, starting sometime after January. Not sure. Mayim Bialik has done this, Bill Nye the science guy, and science guy, and then other people who are really scientists by trade, and then they also happen to do other things on PBS. Uh, well, PBS's website, I believe, right? Also check out their Facebook page, the Nova's Secret Life of Scientists and Engineers Facebook page. Does it feel odd to have people touch you so much, look at hair and makeup stuff? They haven't even been, sometimes I have somebody putting a microphone on me, getting hair and makeup touched up at the same time. On Dancing with the Stars, I'd have somebody come over with body makeup and be like going up and down my legs with sparkles. And I'm, you know, and you don't even know that it's happening because you're so terrified about getting on stage for your dance. It's just part of the job. Luckily, I have really cool people around me, so they're nice and respectful and all that, of course. They just were cleaning the lens, if you heard that little spray sound. Thank you, C.K. Rollage, for inviting followers. All right, so I think we're almost ready to go. I will definitely show you guys, uh, send the link on Twitter and stuff when it's up, which won't be m for months from now. But that's how it goes. Look how cute this little light is. I love, like, little... It's so cute. And it's, I guess, going to make a lens flare? Is that what it's for? Yeah. It's making a lens flare in that camera. So the side angle, when you guys see this, you're going to be like... That's the camera that they were using on the side that was little, that had a lens flare, and all the C-stands were in front of it. 
Foreground elements. Get Foreground nice. elements, exactly. <laughs> Alright. I'm hearing the all right. Sounds right. like they're talking to me instead of just each other now. Slay it in. Slay it in. Okay, oh, we're gonna slate in. Yeah. People are getting ready. Everyone's getting a little more quiet now. All right. Camera speed. speed. Roll. Mark it. All right. Come and mark. <clears throat> okay. Time to start. Bye, guys. Cheers.